Hey guys, Eric here, and today on Problem Solved, we're in my laundry room slash wiring closet, and we're gonna fix this issue that you see right here. This is my little wiring box, and I've got wires going all the way up. These are uh, my wireless routers and whatnot, and are all up there, as well as my security system and stuff. But these wires are super ugly. So I'm gonna show you how to solve this problem, and um, we're gonna take it through the back of the box here. If you look inside of this box, there are some knockouts in the back, like right here, where I can put the wires into the wall. If you look up there, you'll see there's big holes already. So I don't really even need to use those knockouts. So basically I'm gonna feed the wires through those holes and they're gonna go up through the wall and then they're gonna come out on top of that shelf. And I'll show you what the top of that shelf looks like as well, but that'll be a much cleaner way to have these wires go up there. As you can see, I kind of edged out a section of the shelf right there as a temporary solution, but I wanna clean this up. So that's what we're gonna do. So there are a couple different ways to do this. Um, you are gonna be cutting into some drywall. I'm gonna be using an oscillating tool just to make it a little bit easier and I'll show you how to do that. Um, what the wires are gonna come through is this. This is a VCE link. Um, this is just straight from Amazon. Basically, it gives you this kind of outlet or a port, if you will, and I'll show you what it looks like. It just, it makes it so where the wires come out of the wall, it looks a little nicer. But basically, you've got some brushes here to keep out the dust and whatnot. The wires will come through there and it'll look like this when it sits on the wall. That's where all the wires are gonna come out. This part is gonna sit on the inside of the wall and that's what this is gonna screw into. This is also a wire fisher. I'm going a pretty short distance. You could even use a coat hanger for something like this. I've got a wire fisher here. I may or may not need it um, because it is such a short distance. If I do need it though, it's good to have one on hand and they're really cheap to get from Amazon. This is what the top of the shelf looks like. You can see my router up here. This is all getting replaced. This is my security hub for my home security system. That's what's sitting right next to the router. And you can see the cables just come through the shelf right here. And we're gonna put that little outlet box it's probably about right here so all the wires can just come out and you won't see anything below the shelf and it'll look a lot nicer first thing you got to do is unplug everything though and pull the wires out um, so we can just get them out of the way Before we actually put the outlet cover on and cover up this hole that we just made in the drywall, drywall, I'm actually gonna pull all the wires I need through here and then I'll just feed the outlet cover over the wires. That's generally the easiest way to do it because it gives you the most room to work with while you're doing wiring work inside the wall. If I were to put the outlet cover on first, then I would have really tight space to try and get my hands in there and feed wires and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and feed all the wires that I need out here first and then I'll put the outlet cover on. Now that I have my wire fisher actually through the wall here. I'm gonna take all of my wires and I'm gonna fish them all at the same time. You can do this if you know you have a big space that you're going through. And I'm not going through that much debris. I'm not going through any insulation or anything like that. So I'm just gonna attach them all like that. I've got three wires that I need to fish down. So I'm gonna pull these three wires through and it will fish them all the way down to the bottom where they will come out and I'll show you what that looks like down there. Now I've got my three wires down here and they're going through the hole at the top. Now that you have the, the back plate into the drywall, there's little tabs on the back that are gonna grip the side of the drywall that you didn't drill out. So you wanna just hold those against the back and then just screw them tight so it'll stay in. So again, for this part, you're gonna feed all your wires through this little, this little furry part, which prevents dust and debris from getting into the wall. So we're gonna take our cable, our cable ends and we'll feed it through there. 
just like that. And we'll take that all the way. Now that we have the, the brush part in place, now we can just feed the outlet cover itself over the wires, and then we can hook everything up. The outlet cover will just feed right there, go onto the wall itself. All right, guys, we fished all the wires. We got everything mounted and now it's it's back to the way it was. No more wires going from the box to the shelf. It's all coming out here on top of the shelf. As you can see, the router is powered on. Um, security box is also powered on. I had to run some extra wires. And that's for the internet upgrade that's coming later. That's what this extra power cable is for as well. But that's how it looks. It's much cleaner than it was before. It all looks nice and pretty here. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on this episode of Problem Solved, where we went wire fishing and we hit some wires in the wall. It's super easy to do, and I hope you guys have a project where you can take advantage of what I've showed you here today. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below, and I do my best to answer all the questions. And again, I'll see you on the next Problem Solved.